Hi there, Grade Threes. A lovely warm welcome to you all today to your next maths lesson for the week. Um, as you know, my name is Liz and I am your maths teacher and um, we are going to be learning another topic today, something quite new actually. Um, and it's quite a few little challenging sections to do with this uh, concept, but we always come back to it all the time so that um, we don't forget. So let's get on with it, shall we? Oh yes, and brought to you by Worksheet Cloud, fabulous. And there is the email address should you want to get hold of me at any time about this lesson or you have any questions that you would like me to answer. All right, grade threes. So let's get on with our lesson, shall we? But, oh my goodness, I nearly forgot. Chelsea, my border collie, who is quite a character, has not spoken to you for a while. And uh, so here she is, just to say a couple of words. so much Chelsea that was really sweet of you to come and chat to all of us today right so let's get on with it shall we but you know what we can't start until we've had a little bit of a laugh what do you say so I'm going to do a knock knock joke today okay so remember you've got to answer the knock knock question so knock knock well who's there maths book Maths book who? Don't bother me. I have my own problems. <laughs> Alrighty. So multiples, factors and prime numbers. Now that sounds like, wow, quite advanced stuff, but not really. It's um, easy for you to manage. I'm telling you right now. Okay. So what are you going to learn today at grade threes? Let's list. There's only a few things really. But you're going to learn the meanings of these mathematical terms. These are names or labels which are multiples, factors and prime numbers. All right. And um, I'm not too sure if prime numbers is actually always covered in the grade three syllabus. But I'm just going to throw it in um, just to challenge you a little bit. And why not? Okay, and so then after that, you're going to learn how to use uh, these terms to solve some mathematical puzzles and riddles that I'll put into the worksheet. Okay, so first off, we're going to learn about multiples. Now, what does that suggest to you? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to ask you to take a guess. I'm going to give you three options, and, um, and I'm going to ask you to think, tell me what you think. Do you think that multiples means many numbers in maths problems? Do you think that multiples means numbers that we get when we multiply two numbers together? Or do you think that the, th the third option is correct, a type of maths game? Which one do you think it is? Okay, on the next slide I'm going to tell you which one it is. So multiples are the numbers we get when we multiply two numbers together. So for instance, over here, let me just take it back. Over here, I need to select my pen. That there 
is a multiple of five and a multiple of three. Right, so let's go on and look at it a little bit more deeply, shall we? Okay, so what do multiples look like? Well, let's have a look. Three times naught is naught. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three threes are nine. Three times four is 12. Times five is 15. Three sixes are 18. Three sevens are 21. And three eights are 24. Three nines are 27. And we can go on grade three forever and ever multiplying till never end of never, never land. All right, so those are my multiples of three. Here they are. Okay, there they are. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and so on and on and on and on. And there's a little list of them right there. Okay, let's carry on now. So now you're getting an idea of what that means. Okay, so... The next slide is now showing you what are the multiples of three. So we're going to count in threes, and those are the multiples of three that we've multiplied. So 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51. So that is my, those are my multiples. I'm counting in threes, okay? Multiples of three. Let's have the multiples of two. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And of course, naturally, that just goes on and on and on and on forever. Multiples are 5. Right. 0, 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. 7 times 5 is 35, 40. 9 times 5 is 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So look at that carefully. Now you can see there are the multiples of 2, or some of them, the first 12 or 14 of them, and there are the multiples of 5, some of them. What are factors then? So think of what multiples are when you multiply two numbers together to get the answer. Like, for instance, 3 times 5 is 15. Those are multiples, grade 3. But what are factors? I'm going to ask you to take a guess again. I'm going to give you three questions or three um, um, ideas, and I want you to decide which you think is correct. Is a factor, is it the facts and information about numbers? Does factors mean faces in a 3D shape? Or are factors the numbers we multiply together to get another number? Which one do you think that is, girls and boys? Aha, uh -huh. so I bet you got that right. Factors are the numbers we multiply together, two numbers or three sometimes, to get another number. There's an example. So what are my factors? Four times five, those are factors okay of 20 okay so let's have a look in some more detail then what do they look like well there are two factors 2 times 6 of the number 12 so 2 and 6 are factors of 12 because I use them to multiply to get the answer 12. Now you can get confused with multiples and factors, but you have to just think a little bit carefully before you make up your mind as to which is which, okay? But there are also other factors of 12 because we can use 3 multiplied by 4 also makes 12, okay? So there already I've got 4 factors of 12, 4 numbers that will multiply together to give me the solution of 12. But that's not all. 12 times 1 also gives me the answer of 12. So what are the factors of 12 then? So those are the factors of 12. 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and 1 and 12. What are the multiples of 12, grade 3? 12, 24, 36. So that's the difference. Okay, when we talk about multiples, we are multiplying times 2, times 3, times 4, and so on. But factors are the numbers we use to multiply to get the number 12. 
right? Okay, let's have a look at a few more numbers and see what the factors are. So what are the factors of 18? What do I multiply to get to the answer of 18? 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is also 18. 3 times 6 is 18. So what are all the factors of 18? The factors of 18, 1 and 18, multiplied together gives 18. 2 and 9 multiplied together gives you the answer 9. And 3 and 6 also give you the answer 9 when they multiply together. So there are your factors of 18. Let's have a look now at the factors of 24. They're quite a lot. 1 times 24. They're both factors because you can multiply them together. 2 times 12 equals 24. 3 times 8 equals 24. And 4 times 6 equals 24 as well. So look at all those factors. Isn't that quite a lot? Okay, so what's the list then of factors of 24? There they are, right? 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8 and 4 and 6. So all the factors of 24 are 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4 and 6. That's a lot of factors. Right, now we can look at prime numbers. Now, I want you to take a guess again. This is the last little uh, topic we're going to do in this video. Okay, so I'm going to give you three options. And you are going to tell me which one you think it is, is correct. So, is it the first one? Are prime numbers numbers that only have two factors? One and themselves. So, that means that they have two numbers that multiply together. One and themselves and nothing else. Are prime numbers numbers with one in them only? Or are prime numbers numbers that are even? Right, let's see what the answer is. So, prime numbers are the numbers that only have two factors, one and themselves. And now that makes no sense to you whatsoever, I know that. Don't panic, just let's listen and watch, okay? So there's an example of a prime number. Three is a prime number because you can only get three by multiplying three and one. Nothing else multiplied together will give you the answer three. Only three and one. Right, let's have a look. We're going to have a look at prime numbers that are less than 20. So we're just going to look at those, although they are heck of a lot of prime numbers out there in the world. You, you, they just don't end, right? Like a number, a number line never ends. All right, so one, I just want to tell you now, one is not a prime number, okay? So let's have a look and see at the numbers that are less than 20, just for argument's sake, and let's see how many of those are prime numbers. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time. Right, so 2 times 1 is 2, yes, all numbers multiplied by 1 will give the same answer, 2. Kiss, is there anything else that you can multiply, of whole numbers that is, not fractions, whole numbers, to get the answer 2? No, so 2 is a prime number. 3 times 1 is 3, it's the only two numbers that can be multiplied together to give 3, so 3 is also a prime number. 4 times by 1 is 4. But it also has other factors, not just 1 and 4. It also has 2 as a factor, because you can get the answer 4 by saying 2 times 2 equals 4. So 4 is not a prime number. 5 times 1 is 5, yes. It's also a prime number, because there's no other number or whole number that can be multiplied by another number to get the answer 5. So 5 is a prime number. So, so far, 2, 3, and 5, right? 6, what do you think? No. It isn't because 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 has got 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. So it's not a prime number. 7. 7 times 1 is 7. But you can't multiply any other whole numbers together to get 7. So 7 is a prime number. 8. 8 times 1 is 8. But 2 times 4 is also 8. So 8 is not a prime number. 
Right, let's carry on with the others now. We're going to look up. What about nine? And I bet you some of you thought, yes, nine is a prime number because it's an odd number. But three times three also gives a solution of nine. So nine is not a prime number. Notice they're the, only the ones that they can multiply by one to get their answer. Ten times one, is that a prime number? Is ten a prime number? Ten times one is ten, but so is two times five. Ten, so no, ten is not a prime number. Eleven times one is eleven. Anything else we can multiply together to get eleven? No. So eleven is a prime number. Twelve times one is twelve. Is, is twelve a prime number? No, because two times six equals twelve as well. And 3 times 4 also equals 12. And remember, we saw that the factors there are more than just 12 and 1. It's 2 and 6 and 3 and 4 as well. 13. 13 times 1 is 13, yes. But it's also a prime number because there's nothing else that we can multiply uh, 13 or two numbers by to get 13. 14 times 1 is 14. Is 14 a prime number? No, because 2 times 6 also is equal to 14 so 14 is not a prime number right grade threes I'm not going to do all of them I'm just going to now confirm that 15 16 and 18 are not prime numbers because there are other factors that can be multiplied together to get those answers 17 and 19 are prime numbers because only 17 times 1 is 17 and only 19 times 1 is 19. No other two and two other numbers can be used to multiply together to get those solutions. All right, so prime numbers, girls and boys, that are uh, less than 20 for now, because obviously we can find prime numbers ad nauseum. We can just go on and on and on looking at prime numbers and maybe you can do that. After this, take the numbers say less than 50 or up to 50 and see if you can find any more prime numbers. Um, and that's fun, quite a fun activity to do, actually, and just to challenge your brain a little bit more. So the prime numbers less than 20 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. All right. Those are our prime numbers less than 20. And remember, number one, the number one is not a prime number, although it kind of wants to be, I think. All right, so there we have it. yippee doo do we have finished multiples, factors, and prime numbers. Now, if you want to just carry on with your learning, there is nothing stopping you from taking a whole lot of numbers and saying, right, what are the multiples of, of 15? What are the multiples of of eight and you can go and give the first five multiples of all those numbers then you can say to yourself okay I'm going to look at some other numbers that that Les hasn't dealt with today and I'm going to take like the number 40 for example and say well how many factors does 40 have how many numbers do I multiply together to get the answer 40 and then I can go and say well I'm going to see how many prime numbers I can find less than 50 or up to the number 100 and that'll keep you busy for a while and get that brain working fabulously okay so all that's left for me to say have a lovely day going forward grade threes and look out for the next maths lessons um, and yeah be happy have a lovely day and go and look at the worksheet that you can do you can download that worksheet and there's a memo or a answer sheet as well that you can do um, to check how much you get right and I know you're going to get most of them right and remember if you're stuck on something and it's there's nothing wrong with taking time to grasp something and to understand something I have to listen to something quite a lot before I understand so go back and watch the video again if you get stuck okay and um, that's the, the wonderful thing about having something that you can go and record and, and then watch it over and over and over again. So have a lovely day and lots of love from me. Bye-bye, grade threes.